Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and it's time for another Breakfast with Blaha, and today I'm having watermelon. Oh, so we have a second ingredient, which I put a little bit of potassium salt on it. Now, before people chime in with that, we always get this nonsense. I think you should add this to your food. No one cares what you think. I don't care what you think. I'm probably going to ban your stupid ass. Because I don't care what you think I should put on my food. To make that clear. That, that settles that. Number two, I'm not adding it for seasoning. I'm adding it to put more potassium in my diet. And putting it on watermelon is one of the ways in which it doesn't taste nasty. You can also cook it into your rice. Right? That's it. I'm not doing it for taste. So... Speaking of food and taste, let's talk about easy gainers. All right, what's well, one of the things we always talk about here? Hard gainers. I coach a lot of hard gainers. Hard gainers come to me. It's kind of funny, you know. Um, I'm not really ever known for being a skinny person. Because in my adult life, I've never been skinny. I get a lot of them who come to me and hire me. I get hard gainers because they want to get bigger and thicker. And half the time it involves solving their food problems. And yes, there are mental hang-ups about eating. But invariably, what are the, the solutions? And it really is this simple. Most hard gainers try to eat too much protein and too much fiber. Right, this is food you give fat people to help them lose weight. Now people say, we need protein to gain muscle. Yes, you do. You don't need that much. 1.6 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. That's about 0.8 grams per pound. Not even one, one gram per pound. That little magical weird number bodybuilding world magically came up with out of nowhere. Others what the research on lifters actually shows. Okay? That's all you need to maximize muscle growth. You don't need more than that. Protein has a high thermic effect and it has a high satiety. What does that mean? It makes you burn a little more calories and it makes you fuller. Now, do you see where we're going with easy gainers? Wait a minute. Something that makes you burn a little more calories and makes you fuller? Yeah, if you have an overeating problem, that's a real good idea, isn't it? That's pretty useful. It kills your gains if you're a hard gainer. Make you a hard gainer perpetually. It's hard gainers trying to eat 250 grams of protein and eat a bunch of high fiber carbs on a low fat diet. It doesn't work too well. All right, well, let's talk about the easy gainer. Because you guys know that if I'm an easy gainer, I can eat 5,500 calories, 6,000 calories, no problem without junk food. All I need is some white rice and some red meat in there, some fattier beef. A little bit of cheese. Cheese rice, cheese potato, anything like that, I'm good, man. I eat 6,000 calories every day, seven days a week. I can eat. Uh, a lot of you guys out there relate to that. And here's the problem. I have a high energy turnover. Look at my training. I burn a lot of calories. A lot of the easy gainers, people who are gain body fat easily. What is an easy gainer? It's like a hard gainer. We gain weight easy. And it's not metabolism. That's nonsense. That's been completely debunked in study after study. It's your appetite. Your appetite's hormonally related. It's not even half the time a discipline issue. Right, because leptin and ghrelin are not within your control. You can't control those things. But you can control your environment. You can control what foods you buy. You can control what foods you put in front of yourself on the table. And if you can't, then you need to get out of that environment. Which that's a side note. I get people, well, I do this, I live with my family, and therefore I can't do this. Well, get a better job. Get a second job. Go make more money. 
okay? You're over here worried about lifting goals and you're too lazy to get your own place. You're too lazy to work enough to get your own place and you're worried about lifting? What makes you think you can commit to lifting when you're that lazy? I don't think you can. Clearly don't have priorities. Clearly don't have a work ethic. Fix that shit. I said what I said. Now, that being said, the easy gainer, protein. If you struggle with overeating and you need to eat because you need to gain muscle or even to recomposition, try to recomp. Not that I'm a fan. Recomping is hard, by the way. Uh, so I'm just only saying that hypothetically. I don't want people to think I'm saying you can just go recomp. Because it may be a lot harder than you anticipate and a lot slower. It's always slower than you anticipate. That's the other thing. No matter how you view recomping, it will always be slower than you think it's going to be. If you're new to, to, to this game and you've never successfully recomped and you think I'm going to do this much recomp in this amount of time, triple it. Like you think I can do this in one year, it's going to be three. Triple it. And I'm not joking. It really is that slow. But easy gainer needs to gain muscle. They need to bulk. Because like the rest of us, gaining significant muscle, you're going to have to add body weight. But then they're like, but then I overeat a lot. My appetite gets out of control. Same thing when they're cutting. Appetite becomes a problem. If they're not burning the sort of calories I do, it becomes real difficult. But you know what? Taking your protein intake up. Going above. Eating the sort of protein that the bodybuilding world tells you that you need to gain muscle, which is not true, will help you gain less fat. It'll help you gain less body fat. Now, the downside is going to cost you a lot more money. Especially in today's grocery market and the current economy protein is expensive Our extra protein is going to cost you a couple hundred extra dollars a month but it will do the job they'll do what you need it to do your other options add a lot more fiber all right and you can do the oats and brown rice thing with lots of vegetables get all your carbs from oats brown rice fruit add lots of vegetables that is your other option that's the less expensive option. It'll still help. It'll do a lot of the same thing. Right? Those are what you need to do as an easy gainer, though. That's how you control the appetite. It will set you up for success. It'll set you up for success. But, you know, it's funny because we, we have those solutions for the easy gainer or for the hard gainer. I bring them up and go, yeah, that makes sense. But then the easy gainer doesn't always translate. Eating like a pro, even when you bulk. That's the key for the easy gainer. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.